the chapter titled The Moon Lady, features Ying Ying as a child growing up in China. Her family's wealthy. They can afford a nanny or a ma for the girl who dresses her for a very special day. She has sisters or stepsisters because the father has multiple wives. The father's wealthy enough to hire famous chefs so they can have fantastic feasts. Here she is all dressed up for the special day, chasing after a dragonfly. The father has rented a pavilion for this special day. Here is the bird that catches fish, and the fish is removed from the bird's mouth. Ying Ying is in the kitchen as food is prepared. The cook's back is turned, so Ying Ying smears turtle blood all over her fancy clothes. Why? Because that's what an unsupervised child will do. Her clothing is removed to be cleaned. She stares at her reflection in the water. She is enchanted by the image and looks closer and closer, which is dangerous for an unsupervised child. Firecrackers go off. She is startled. She falls in. People in a small boat rescue her, fish her out of the sea. She's taken around to the various pavilions. Hey, is this your daughter? Eventually she's left on the shore. There's a show going on featuring the moon lady. Finally, the family finds Ying Ying, but she's no longer the same girl. She's not the same because she suffered the trauma of being lost and not immediately missed. She learned new things during the day. She's not the same person. The word rickshaw is used. Wealthy people can afford to hire others to pull them around town to save them the trouble of walking.